Alrighty, welcome to a quick and crappy video from yours truly, Slifey Reb. Haven't made a video in a while. In case anyone hasn't noticed, I don't exactly take my channel seriously. But, here we go. Uh, plenty of videos, I'm sure, out there on these. Um, Merrill Tacticals. I got the uh, Moab 2 Mid Tactical Waterproofs. As you can see, it says waterproof. Also, electrical hazard, which is kind of cool. Um, I got them from uh, Galls. It's like balls, but with a G. Cool place. Ordered through them uh, before, along with like LA Police Gear and all kinds of places. I'm a surplus and tactical connoisseur. So, let's get these boots on the tray. Nice. All right. So, here they are. Um, I got them before work today, and then um, I've been wearing them all day. Just got back from work, so. Uh, I will say, not a bad pair of boots. Like, right out of the box. Doesn't need much in the way of break-in, which is uh, surprising. Um, the only other shoes that I've had, or footwear that I've had, um, that didn't really need any break-in was like um, my uh, Adidas Superstars. Um, these, I mean, they can get broken in a bit more, especially for your lacing, so it gets like the memory of where it needs to tie. I might swap out the laces with paracord at some point, but uh, for one day's wear, there's no rubbing on the back or any weird stuff like that. Um, only real issue, I would say, which is still kind of negligible, is the insoles. So, these are what you get. You got holes in them. Um, real thin. Um, so I would say, probably upgrade those. Uh, I'm going to get some with better arch support. Um, what is these? Wow, made in Cambodia. Ain't that something? I mean, these are good tactical beater shoes. Uh, I've yet to have tried like Solomon's or anything like that. I don't know. Um, but I just wanted to give these a try. They were on sale, I believe. Um, so if you've, uh, uh, wide rim, by the way. Yeah, grippy, good stuff. If you've ever tried on or worn the um, normal like hiking Moabs, Basically the same kind of thing. A few differences, but the fit and feel is very similar. Um, so, yeah. And if you're looking to get these online, but you can't find them anywhere, um, just go to, like, a, a Dick's Sporting Goods or something like that and uh, just try them, Try on the hiking ones. You'll figure out your size. I mean, it's it's true to size. I'm a 10 and a half. These are 10 and a half. They fit proper. Um... So, if you're looking for sizing, true to size. Um, decent boots, at least for one day of wear. Like I said, insole, ah, not great. They're grippy, they're pretty comfortable. Um, if you're looking for some cool kit, I mean, this is not a bad way to go. Um, so, yeah. And they weren't pricey either, so there's that. Um, not much else to say. They work. And that is a quick and crappy video by yours truly, Slaffa Reb. You don't need to subscribe. I don't know why I have subscribers, but cool, I guess. All right.